what's up? It's Joe Rady from Rady's Rides. We are here at the return of the Detroit Auto Show for 2022. Of course, walking around the convention floor, you're gonna find a lot of new electrified vehicles, but guess what? There was something about this one that drew me to it, just like a moth to a flame. This is it. This is a 2025 Lexus electrified sport. But before we get into this sleek, super aero, but also super high range mileage of a vehicle, let's talk about what's going on here. Lexus, it's that premium brand of Toyota. They've been around since 1989, if you could believe that. Now, Lexus has been doing a lot of magic when it comes to their full lineup. They're bringing in new technology. When we look at infotainment, when we look at how you interact with the vehicle, we recently did the RX drive, the official media drive, and now we're here at the auto show to see what else is new. Now, with Lexus, there's one particular model that really won over the hearts of sports car enthusiasts, really supercar enthusiasts, that's gonna be the mighty Lexus LFA. It's been a while since we've seen the LFA. 2012 was the final year of production, and that was a car where Akio Toyota really wanted to showcase what Lexus and Toyota could bring to the table. Remember, it was all about that naturally aspirated 4.8 liter V10 that pumped out well over 500 horsepower. Well, things are changing, but performance and style is still at the top of Lexus's list. So let's go ahead, let's dive into this electrified sport and see, is it that supercar that's gonna be electric that you're gonna wanna park in your driveway? Let's go ahead and find out. Right off the bat, the style. You could see that blending of Lexus and Toyota. I see a little bit of many different vehicles. One of the vehicles, believe it or not, is the Supra. You could kind of see the shape of the fenders, especially when we kind of drop down here. So as we drop down, you'll see that very sleek aerodynamic look. Now, when it comes to electrification, obviously aerodynamics is key. It's not just about having a bigger battery. The problem with the batteries is they weigh a ton. With aerodynamics, you could help increase that range. Plus from a supercar standpoint, that's gonna increase not only your range, but also your top speed. So up front, they really did an amazing job when it comes to sculpting something that looks really unique and stands out, but yet also has those Lexus touches. You'll notice that LED daytime running lamp, you got your LED headlights, and it's really kind of crazy to think that looking at this vehicle compared to the Lexus vehicles that are currently available, that change, that shift that we're gonna see, Love the way they sculpted that front fascia down towards the splitter. Now remember, a splitter is very important, not just for an electrified vehicle, for, but for any top performance car because we want air not to go underneath. We want air to go up, over, around, and give us some of that downforce. But definitely, just this one area, super sexy on the style. Now, as we come across the front, that low, long, hood that was one of the things on the lfa that kind of won me over was that it wasn't a mid-engine it wasn't a rear engine it was a front engine supercar with that v10 you're kind of getting that same overall sense here with that long sloping hood i love the way it kind of waterfalls right into the front fascia of course you're going to have that lexus badge there looking really sharp you could see how they brought the gloss black just a little bit and then you had this massive front air intake. Now, of course, when it comes to EVs, we do still need cooling because we have those lithium ion battery packs. We got supposedly in this one solid state batteries to extend that range. There's going to be some liquefied cooling because they produce a lot of heat and that will help with longevity. So bringing air is going to be crucial, not only for the cooling, but also, like I said, for the rest of the aerodynamics. Now, if you notice on the hood, you'll see these black kind of oval areas, those are actually hood pins. So it's kind of cool the way they have hood pins on the hood to keep it buttoned down at those top speeds. This thing looks like it'll easily go over 200 miles an hour. And remember, if you are in a vehicle going over 200 miles an hour, you're traveling the length of a football field every single second. But definitely nice long hood. I'm gonna have Lori kind of swing around and just show how they built the arrow into the hood with the fenders very, very nicely sculpted. It looks like a breathing, living organism of a supercar and like I said, electrified. Now, as I come around the bend and we look at wheel and tire setup, you're gonna notice some unique touches. First of all, 
just like maybe on a Porsche, maybe on a Ferrari, we had those single locking lug nut in the center, just like on a race car. Definitely, not only does it help with the look, but it helps with cutting down weight. We have these forged aluminum wheels, Boston wheels. What's cool is, is Boston is based out of Florida, and I actually know one of the owners, Diego, of Boston Wheels. So it's kind of cool to be here at the auto show, see their products here. This wheel is a 20 inch wheel, love the shape. You got those bright blue six piston Brembo calipers with the Lexus badge. You can see the two piece rotors, massive. These things look like they're off of a Formula One car. And I'm telling you, when it comes to just wheel gap, they have it down perfect. Now, if you're wondering what's the size of this wheel, 265 on the tire, 35 series sidewall, it is looking slick in satin black. Now, as we come down the side, you see that beautiful fender. There's just something about a long hood. I know everybody is all about mid-engine cars, especially with the mid-engine Corvette. There's just something about that wonderful long hood that really evokes what the LFA was all about. As we're coming down the side, I'm gonna have Lori kind of swing around and showcase how they scalloped, just carved out that beautiful bodywork. You can see the functional venting for all that air to flow through the front, down the side, curves up. Now this area, I'm, I'm feeling some Supra. I'm feeling a little bit of Supra. So you're gonna have the curve up here. Look at the way it curves right into the rear pillar. And then the way they ran the lower sill, like I said, taking that technology, that design, that engineering from the racetrack. Remember, Lexus races in the IMSA WeatherTech series with their RCFs. You could see how they brought that knowledge of all that race history. And even Akio Toyota, remember, races in the 24 hours of the Nürburgring under that nickname, Marizo. Little fun fact. Now working our way back, it's interesting how we have this area here. This is not a fuel filler location. This would be where you're gonna plug in. But I like the way they made it look like a fuel filler door off of a race car with the brushed aluminum. You'll also notice how they scallop. There's another vent here. I'm gonna see if Lori can work her magic. Another vent going down to channel that air through the back of the vehicle. The roof line has a little bit of Supra to it as well, but this rear fender is really where the money's at. Just look at the way it just curves down. And when we look at the back tire setup, you're actually getting wider wheels out back. 305 on the width with those beautiful Vossens. You got those Brembo, Brembo four piston calipers. This is gonna have an outback, and this is a 21 inch wheel. So you got 20s up front, 21 inch outback. This being an electrified supercar is having an electric motor up front, electric motor outback. That's gonna give us all wheel drive. That's something that the LFA did not. The LFA did not have all wheel drive. This will have all wheel drive. Stick it, grip it, and send you down the road. Zero to 60, they're saying right around two seconds, maybe even 1.9 seconds. Just to put in perspective for you, a Formula One car does zero to 60 in about 1.8 seconds. So we're talking about Formula One car acceleration on the road with this car. Now my favorite part besides the front, of course, is gonna be the back. You can see the roof line. Just, it shows what Lexus and Toyota is capable of with their beautiful design philosophy. I love the way they work this rear spoiler into the hatch. We even have hood pins for the back portion as well to button this down at speed. And let's focus on the lights. Look at this interpretation with the LED taillights. I love the way they got the aero venting. Functional is the name of the game. And then one of my favorite parts is as we coast across the center here, you'll notice the Lexus badge. Remember, RX, you're looking at all the, the NX. They're getting rid of the Lexus actual badge on the back and they're going to individual letters. I love the way it's got the LED lighting with those letters. Here's another little fun fact. If you're wondering what is this, this is actually for an air hose. So you plug this in, there's jacks built into the car that would actually raise it up. Could you imagine having that at home? Plug it in, raise it up, but you got your functionality. We have our LED reverse light down low. Love the way they did that. This looks like it's right off of Toyota's Le Mans winning prototype race car. Absolutely stunning. Even the way they hid the third brake light right underneath that wing there. Really spot on the money, but this is the things that we're seeing. And if you're wondering, well, Joe, what kind of range are we supposed to look at? What many of the experts are saying, well over 430 mile range 
added this supercar, and we're talking about big horsepower, enough to accelerate it zero to 60 in two seconds or less. I could just imagine what the top speed is, but this is part of the excitement with electrification. I know many of us, including this guy right here, we yearn for that internal combustion engine sound, but this kind of gives me a little hope, at least from a design standpoint, that when it comes to electrification, Lexus is definitely doing the business. And is this gonna be the return? Are they gonna call it the LFA for 2025? We'll have to wait and see. But let me know what you think. Is this the vehicle that you would buy if you're buying your first supercar electrified, maybe even a sports car, maybe they'll have different levels of performance. Let me know in that comment section, but we definitely gotta thank everybody at Toyota and Lexus for allowing us access to this vehicle. If you're new to the channel and you're on your way out, hit that subscribe button. I promise you it's worthwhile. Come back for more. If you are a subscriber, thank you for being part of the Radies Rides family. We gotta give it up to the muscle behind the lens. I'm sweating, she's even working harder and sweating harder than I am. So please give Lori some love in that comment section. Thank you, Lori, for all that you do. And just like always, guys, I'll see you on the next ride.